Dear chess players, welcome back to round number six of the European Chess Club Cup. I played against one of the best players in the world and I can tell you, in my opinion, you will remember his name in the future. Hello everyone and welcome back! My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster and today we will see together round number 6 recap of the European Chess Club Cup. I had white pieces against a very strong Grandmaster from Uzbekistan rated 2654 and currently he is the second board of the Uzbekistan national team who won the gold medal in the 2022 chess olympiad this game was incredibly challenging with intense moments and deep strategies take a second to stop the video and guess the result do you think i managed to break through his defenses or maybe his just unbelievable talent break me up so if you enjoyed these recaps i really appreciate it if you can just click the like button and subscribe to the channel and you know all of this just support my uh, motivation to do every single day videos for you so le now let's dive into the action and see how it all played out so i played uh, of course against grandmaster nordir back yakub boyev and it goes like e4 c6 he's playing the move c6 after seven and a half minutes of thought no sorry he just came wait you know it just came uh, um you know seven minutes after the game started right came late so c6 caro can variation and i'm playing with knight f3 of course d4 here is the main line after d5 knight c3 d takes c4 knight takes c4 bishop f5 or knight f6 so much theory here and i didn't want to go for it but of course i can play also this line but I played the move knight f3 and after d5 the move knight c3 another option that i played a lot of time is e takes d5 and after c takes d5 knight e5 sorry and after knight c6 the point here d4 and it's really nice i played uh, this uh, position against svan erasmus from germany uh, in gibraltar i don't know maybe six years ago uh, it, it was a really nice game uh, it finished by a draw so i played the move knight c3 with these two knights and he played the move bishop g4 very fast and now i play the move bishop e2 the point here that after d4 you can stop the video and think by yourself why white is just uh, winning knight takes d4 a brilliant move and after queen takes d4 just bishop takes g4 with uh, one pawn up and two bishops and if bishop takes e2 just knight d takes e2 with one pawn up d4 castle and you know white is close to be winning so bishop e2 was played and now uh, knight f6 was played by him another option here to play move e6 or maybe d takes e4 but he played the move knight f6 and you know i will not give you all of my preparation here but i was well prepared in here i know a lot of variations uh, so maybe one day i will publish it uh, you know also here in my youtube channel but until that moment i will show you the game so knight f6 e5 knight fd7 and now d4 and here uh, e6 was played of course after bishop takes f3 just bishop takes f3 and now e6 i have the move knight e2 and after c5 just c3 and this is nice position to play with white so he played the move um yeah e6 right away and now i play the move castle after h3 here just bishop takes f3 and bishop takes with c5 and i don't have the possibility to play the move c3 so i played the move uh, castle and now he played c5 immediately after bishop takes f3 here I can take it and after c5 there is a lot of variations after knight takes d5 i will uh, show you it, you it maybe uh, later okay so you know one year from now maybe two years maybe i don't know yeah you know i, I saw some very strong uh, player uh, grandmaster boris avruch there is a very nice youtube channel that he has and you know i i, I think he upload every single week one video about some opening preparation and it's really nice because he's giving you the opportunity to learn a little bit and also give you the opportunity to buy his pgn uh, by his work right we are we are chess players so we are working about analysis and such uh, and it's really nice so I, I also recommend you and also maybe one day i will do something like this 
So uh, he played a move c5 immediately instead of bishop takes f3. And now bishop g5 uh, and queen c8. And as you can see, I had like here one hour and 33 minutes. And after this position, I played a move knight b5. And also very fast, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, and now c takes d4. And now I took it after 7 minutes of thought. I was not sure 100% that I remember correctly, but probably is the best move in the position. So here he played a move bishop c5, also very fast. And knight e5, you probably ask yourself why is not good. Because of rook e1, just uh, developing my rook. And as you can see after knight takes f3, just queen takes f3. And my pieces are just amazing, right? This knight, this bishop, this rook. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this rook, of course, the queen. Also rook d1 with c4 maybe. You know, I I'm just attack here. Uh, and my king is just brilliant. And his king is really weak. Uh, and of course, open, right? Knight f5. I don't know. So much lines here. For example, knight c6, just queen takes d5. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's not so easy because this bishop... And need to protect this pawn on g7. So probably white is clearly better here. So after knight takes d4, bishop c5 was played, and I played the move bishop f4. And this was not the best move by me. Uh, probably the best here was c4, and I, I probably uh, forgot this move because after d takes c4, I have the move knight b5. And here, knight takes e5 is just blundering uh, the game immediately after bishop takes b7. Just amazing, amazing move here. Attacking the queen and also the rook after queen takes b7, queen d8, checkmate on the board. So yeah, it's nice. Uh, but here, of course, castle, knight d6, bishop takes, e takes d6. Yeah, I was... It's, it's really, really um, surprising that I didn't remember this line because I think it is in my preparation. So yeah. Bishop f4 was I played after bishop c5, and here he played move knight c6. Bishop takes d4 also one, was an option for him after queen takes d4, uh, queen c2. But okay, you know it's it's really uh, unbelievable to play such such move here uh, because after rook a c1, knight c6. This is the point, and yeah, black is just one pawn up. Uh, so after knight d4, yeah, bishop c5, and I played the move bishop f4. Wow, you know I I'm, I was not sure. This is the move that I played. For one second, I, I'm. It's really I didn't saw this bishop d4 line in the game. I don't know. I played the move knight c6. Yeah, th this was the line. I think rook e1 I played. Wow. Maybe. I don't know. So yeah, I, I missed this. Probably missed this. So knight c6 was an accuracy after my inaccuracy of bishop e4. I took the knight, b c6, and now c3 was played. And now a5 and rook e1. You know, black is playing very uh, uh, active in the queen side. a5 with a4, attacking this pawn on b2 with, with this file. But I'm trying, you know, like to play soft moves, good moves uh, with a plan. So I will show you my plan here. He played move a5 and now rook e1, uh, castle and now bishop g3. So my point that I'm bringing the bishops here and the next moves will be h4, h5 and something about bishop g4, king h2, f4, f5. Just to open the position and of course I ready uh, to defend this pawn on b2 with rook a b1, rook e2, maybe queen c2, something around this one. So let's see how it goes. a4, h4, queen c7 and now king h2. And of course after queen c7 I was sure that his threat is to play the move f5. For example after h5 I thought he will play the move f5 and here after e takes f6 just queen takes g3 and I'm losing the game, right? Because of this pin, don't forget it. So uh, after queen c7, I ask myself what um, my opponent threat. So I came to the conclusion that f5 is this is the threat, and I play the move king h2. And now of course after f5, just taking it, right? That's it. So rook fb8, attacking the pawn on e2, and now I'm playing the move rook b1. Rook b7 makes a lot of sense, and now bishop g4. I re I ready to attack with f4, f5, and to try, um, you know, like to just. Uh, open the king's ear on g8 so queen b8 was played i think very nice move by not dear back yakuboev because he is attacking my pawn on b2 and also looking about this diagonal and also give him the opportunity to play the move rook a6 or rook a5 and rook b5 right and this is like very nice things here with these two rooks and a queen 
So queen c2 was played by me, I just uh, defend this pawn on b2, rook a6 and now f4 with f5, this is my threat. After rook a b6, I was sure that I will just uh, play the move rook e2, yeah, this was the point, after g6 h5, uh, and yeah, it's it's not so easy for him uh, to attack this pawn on b2. For example, after bishop a3, just queen takes a4, and there is some problems here. After bishop takes b2, uh, yeah, I thought about queen c2, I think, if I remember correct. And yeah, it's not so easy for him because I will take bishop takes c6. I have some plans here, bishop h4 maybe. So yeah, this, this line, uh, this file is very nice for black, but it's not something that I really uh, will lose, right? And also, don't forget that I have like um, this a pawn pass pawn in the future. So yeah, uh, what, where are have you been? Yeah, we had like this rook a6, f4. Yeah, he played the move g6, and now h5, knight f8, and this was a nice move to have, like because after knight f8, I had the confidence that I'm doing great, right? And I'm doing fine, and he's playing like very. A passive move. I play the move rookie too. Uh, also, you know, like to overreact on this b2 pawn. He played the move rook a b6. And now queen takes a4, rook a7. After rook takes b2, I was sure that I will just take rook takes b2, rook b takes b2, rook takes and queen takes e6. And here, I don't know, for me at least, it seems like very good position. I, I saw this line queen b2, uh, but I was not sure. I have two bishops and also the passed pawn a. And this knight on f8 is not so good. So yeah, it's interesting position to play, but overall I felt like it should be nice. Maybe queen takes and queen takes with h6, I don't know. Maybe some draw here, right? I don't know. It's interesting position to play. But rook e7 was, pl was played by my opponent and I played move queen d1. Rook takes a2 and now b4. Uh, rook a8, I think the, bo the best move in the position here. And here I was not sure how to play. So rook e b2 was the best here. Uh, and after bishop e7, I had like queen c2 with bishop f2 and you know after c5 of course i can take it because i just defend the rook on b2 so this position is is really nice for white and you know this bishop on e7 this knight on f8 uh, doesn't work at all right so yeah i played the move rook a1 and i had like 23 minutes against 6 and 48 seconds so yeah in only 27 minute uh, move sorry so this line you know rook a1 was a mistake by me i think uh, because rook e b2 is just um, giving up giving up the pressure here, right? It's not like a, a simplify the position. So yeah, probably rook a1 was the mistake. Bishop e7 and a rook e a2 now takes, takes and c5. And after bishop f2, just rook c6, queen e4 and rook c7. And now, you know what? For one second, I will tell you to stop looking at this board and looking into my eyes. I really want to welcome you to see the Outpost Chess website. You can see it in the link um, in the description. You have the link, just click it. It's free of charge. Just sign up and you have some so many tournaments, also live tournaments, also online with prizes money. And also you can play a one versus one, you know, for just uh, for money. So it's, it's really nice. I can tell you that I'm playing there. Uh, it's free. It's free of charge. So just enjoy. Uh, and I'm coming back to this game after rook c7. I play the move b5. And here rook b7 attacking my pawn on b5. And here I play the move c4. So rook b2. I was not sure about this move because I felt like he will play the move knight d7 with c4, knight c5. And you know, these two bishops, they're not in the open uh, section, right? And I was not sure about his position. So I played the move c4, and my point that was just giving up the pawn, right, after d takes c4, the f4, of course, queen takes c4, rook takes b5, but here my bishops are doing better, right? The position uh, is open, and I have some op plans, rook a8, h6, this bishop on d and this knight on f8 was not uh, something very dangerous for me, so I felt like maybe it's a good position. I played the move rook b4, and now queen c1, and queen c7 and here you know i felt like maybe i have some troubles and i played move rook a8 but you know but you know why i think h6 was the best here i don't know why but you know after h6 there is some planes here rook a8 and these pieces are really not good i don't know how he can bring them uh, into the game 97 
maybe Rook A8, but yeah, maybe Bishop F8. I felt like maybe I have some options here, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just uh, dreaming, right? I'm down a pawn and everything is correct for black. Uh, there is no weaknesses, only this king, but maybe I don't have some some uh, opportunities here. So I played the move rook a8 immediately. And now g takes h5. He played very strong move, I think, in, uh, you know, uh, in objective, ob how to say, objectively um, point of view. Because after g takes h5, bishop takes just king g7, and the next move will be knight g6. And this knight is coming into the game, right? And uh, yeah, it's not so easy to understand how to play here. I played the move bishop f3. Uh, bishop e1 was maybe interesting move to play uh, because after rook b7, I don't know, rook b5, also queen c4, I can play with queen e to queen g4, maybe, but I felt like I, I really want to grab uh, the bishop back to f3 and also uh, to protect the rook on a8 and also the, this g pawn is protecting the bishop on f3, so looking nice. Knight g6, attacking the pawn on f4, now g3, rook queen b6 and here we are all already in the 41 move. And uh, we uh, we have, of course, uh, the time, the, f the 30 minutes uh, increment. And now I, I go for the toilet and I talk to myself and said, you know what, Nitsan, uh, you didn't play so good in this game, but, but let's fight. Let's fight for a draw because I felt like something went wrong and I need to play uh, my best here to come with a draw against one of the really, really strong player in the world. Uh, so rook a2 was played by me, just bring the rook back because this rook on a8 doesn't do anything. And rook c2, attacking this pawn on c5, makes a lot of sense. Queen b5, rook c2, now c4, now bishop e2, attacking this pawn on c4, rook b1, queen e3. Of course, queen d2 was a very big mistake because queen c6 and yeah, it's not so um, nice to, to defend from a checkmate on the board, right? Bishop d1, but... You know, it, it feels very ugly. So queen e3, of course, queen b7, now just queen f3, takes, takes, uh, rook b3. Yeah, of course, after rook b4, just bishop e2. Um, yeah, c3, just bishop d3. Yeah, I will I will take this pawn probably on c3. Uh, of course, after rook takes c3, just rook b2, and this is losing position. Bishop c5, and yeah. Uh, so after bishop takes c3, rook b3 was played. Very strong move by my opponent. King g2, and now c3. And bishop d4, bishop b4, so black is still one pawn up, but bishop e4 was played by me. I just bring the bishop to a very good position. Uh, it's, it's really nice that I have like these uh, two bishops. And also king f3, maybe g4, f5, I have some options here. h5 was played, and now king f3, knight f8, bishop c6, and now we just... Uh, Finished our three-time repetition here. Blake doesn't have any choice here uh, to, to resume the game. And also, my opponent uh, has only one minute on his clock. Uh, and yeah, the game was finished by a draw against a very strong Grandmaster uh, from Uzbekistan. I can tell you that I, I, I think that, um, you know, until 2000, two, uh, sorry, 2025, he will be more than 2700 uh, at least 2700 i in my opinion he's very very strong uh, and talented guy so yeah i achieve a very important draw against this uh, player let's see about uh, our uh, team so we played a against a very strong team uh, typhoon i think from uh, slovenia or slovakia with the very strong players so in the first board Predke won against Michalewski. The second, we drew the game. Orikobo also drew. Greenfeld drew. Posny drew. And Huzman drew. So we played against a very strong team with uh, six Grandmasters with more than 2,600 rating. And uh, we managed to lose only three and a half uh, against two and a half. So it's also very, very good result. But unfortunately, we lost it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, you know tomorrow will be the last round recap. Uh, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere and uh, hit the subscribe button and of course the like and turn on the notification bell to have uh, all updates about any video that I'm uploading. So yeah, see you soon. Don't go anywhere. Bye.